It is my pure pleasure tonight to celebrate the exemplary career of Wendy Freeman, so deserving of this Lifetime Achievement Award. I have worked with Wendy for just under 25 years, and in that time I have marveled at so many things, but especially her ability to survive with no sleep. No matter what time zone I or any reporter has ever been in to this day, you can send that woman an email at any moment and get an immediate response. Sometimes she actually answers even before I press send. It's her gut instinct to predict a problem and come up with a solution instantaneously that makes her one of the most extraordinary people that I have ever known. A scrapper? Absolutely. I've asked a cross-section of people for their memories and impressions of Wendy, and universally everyone has said in a bar fight, they want Wendy on their side. She is fiercely loyal and infinitely fair, from her days as a field producer right up to president of the news division. When Wendy was bureau chief in Toronto back in the early 90s, she covered the most complicated and harrowing story of its time, the trial of Paul Bernardo. Through the day-to-day -day horror story, Wendy's permanent sense of humanity and strong editorial leadership, always reminding the team that it needed to tell that awful story every single day in a way that mattered and touched lives, but without damaging souls. And they did. She also managed some fun stories as well way back then. Um, the 25th anniversary of Woodstock, for example, for CTV in 1994. She and Joy Malbin, now of course our Washington bureau chief, got there in a rented RV with no idea how to get into the festival with no media passes on a last minute assignment and a sold out show. Wendy did not let that slow her down. At the gate, when the security guard said there was no way they were getting in, Freeman had Joy Malbin hide under a blanket with just the top of her head sticking out. The next thing Joy heard was Wendy forcefully telling the security guard, don't you know who that is? Pointing at Joy's blonde hair. It's Joan London, host of ABC's Good Morning America. She has to get in. The guard believed her because of course who wouldn't and they got in. The lesson from Wendy, do whatever it takes. Next thing you know, they were off to interview naked people sliding around in the Woodstock mug. Wendy's final advice on that shoot, Joy tells me, don't ever lose eye contact. Now that is a field producer. There are just so many stories that I could share. The number of times she has physically stood in front of a door to keep handlers from busting in and ending particularly tough interviews with various world leaders. I always felt her in the background whispering, keep going. The time she almost got kicked out of Kandahar for challenging military authority. I would not have bet on the Taliban in that circumstance, I don't mind telling you. And as I say, she moved from field producer to assignment editor to executive producer to president of the news division. And in that role, Wendy expects much and in return will go to war to look after her people, literally and figuratively. Her expectations of excellence have made us number one year after year after year after year, and they've instilled a spirit that no assignment is too big, too dangerous, or too complicated for us not to come out on top. Behind that hard driving exterior, though, is someone who cares so deeply. It, it is such a rare thing, a boss who so many of us also call a good friend. And never has there been a more deserving recipient of this Lifetime Achievement Award, as long as she doesn't think it means her work here is done. I just, I can't imagine getting through this journey without Wendy. In fact, during this pandemic, she has been here every single day in this newsroom as, as newsroom numbers have decreased to a trickle from what was once a packed newsroom. She has provided editorial support and especially moral support when we've all needed it the most. Wendy Freeman is one of a kind. And Wendy, we all salute you and we love you. Congratulations from your work family. Everyone. <laughs> we love you, Wendy. Congratulations.